Okay, the first thing you want to do is take all the files of the application and send them over to where you're going to uh, want your installation. In this case, we're just going to put them right in the public HTML folder. So you would take them all, send them over. Once all the files are sitting on, on the web server, you have to make three small adjustments. Okay, so for starters, what you could do is open up public.ink.php and alter the user, the password, and the database. If you've ever set up a blog or any other application, you should be accustomed to uh, this sort of thing. So once you have that, that's one thing. And your database will actually be this file, Raspberry Blog. So once your database is set up, you can just dump this file, import it with PHP My Admin or MySQL and put that right into your uh, database and you're ready to go there. And then finally, you open uh, the HT Access file and you look for the set of conditions and rules right here, rule. As you can see, if it's sitting in the root folder, you would have it as index. And if you're going to put it into a folder like blog, then you would need blog forward slash index. So these are commented out because we're not going to use it. And these have no comments, which is what we're going to use. So once you have that, um, then you can send that over as well. So that's it. Those three small things. And we'll just take that file and that file, move them over. And then we can open up the website. And there it is. It's working. It's fast. It's responsive. And there's the blog right there. And at that point, you can log in and do whatever you want. And that's it. Once you get uh, used to this, um, you can actually set up in less than a minute.